Although it's not 100% finished, I wanted to show you this mummy's hand that I had created. It's fairly simple to make. All you need to do is use your hand, put it down on a piece of paper, get a tracing going on the size of your hand that you want to do. Okay, and then next step is to map out the bones in the hand. Once you get your hand traced out, I've already done this one over here, and I've mapped out the bones. By going online, you can look at an anatomical map of how many different bones there are in the hand. You just kind of draw them in where your knuckles are, from the size of uh, where your knuckles are. That's one bone, known the bone. I'm going to put a piece of wax paper over this because hot glue will not stick to wax paper. No matter how hard you make it, try it, it will not stick. Once you get this mapped out, you're going to use some Q-tips. Measuring the size of the bone, you can break them into size. Get them all put in there. I'm going to show you what that looks like when they're all done. Once you get all your bones in place, now you're going to heat up your hot glue gun and you're going to start melting hot glue over each and every one of these, making sure that you put extra hot glue over the knuckles. If you have your hand cool, you take it off, turn it over, you can see it just does not stick to the wax paper at all. And if you want to make the fingers bend, all you need to do is get some wire, some soft aluminum wire, cut them to size, put that here in the fingers. Each and every finger should have a bit of hot glue on them. Very, very easily, you can create a bend any way you want to do it, shape them. And then once you put your paint on here, you'll have your mummy's hand. It's going to take a few moments. You just have to hold it in place while it's cooling. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so once you get your mummy's hand done, now with the wire in there, you can just very easily bend it in any shape that you want to bend it in. And what's so cool about this is that all you need to do is put a little bit more hot glue on to seal that into place. Any type of the wires popping out, you just glue it back in. Um, <laughs> that, that one's going that way, but we'll, we'll move that back into place. I'm gonna put some more glue on there. Anyways, a very, very easy tutorial on how to make a mummy's hand. If you're doing this for Halloween, this would be awesome. Okay, I'm using the titanium 901 white here. And I'm going to paint this up very easily here with a nice soft soft brush you can actually going to see the transformation uh, it's just going to hide up all of the material and make it look like it's aged bone you know it's been ravaged by time this makes a really cool halloween prop especially if you wanted to put like a, a mummy or something out on your your porch or or for any prop you wanted to do uh, this is going to go in a photo shoot but uh, it's going to be so far back that you recognize that it's uh, mummy's hands. Um, if you have seen all my tutorials about how to age or distress something uh, for bone, my skull tutorial, how to age a, a skull, you can check that out, how to make these bones look older. But uh, this is basically how to create uh, an ancient looking mummified hand. It looks just creepy. Just really creepy. Yeah, two of them together. <laughs> if you 
want to know how to age this and make it look like it's flesh and something out of a catacomb, you'd use a burnt sienna number 18. I'm using an alpha color, just a dab, and a little bit more of a burnt umber. And I already have a really, really, really uh, worn brush that uh, you can actually see the bristles have really gone shabby. If you don't have it, you can just cut it into place. But by making a, a slurry of your burnt umber and a little bit of your burnt sienna, this creates a flesh tone. Uh, actually, it looks like the, like mummified flesh. Now, the first coating, it doesn't look really that good. But I'm going to tell you when you start putting two and three coats on there, it really starts to come together. So, just try a little bit more here. Kind of a messy job. Everything's kind of messy in prop making, so <laughs> not to worry. Not to worry. Just apply it. This is coat number one. I'm going to show you both the hands together with both the coats two or three times. <laughs> 